ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to take an i7-8750H and attempt to curb or remove thermal throttling and or power throttling using throttle stop. So let's proceed. We have throttle stop in the download section. I actually want to relocate this. So I am going to cut and paste this in my very own recently created throttle stop folder. And away we go. Okay, application. Let's go ahead and double click and extract all of that. Extract it right here, perfect. And now we have the application right here run it and let's get rocking and rolling all right it says throttle stop is capable of significantly making your laptop awesome perfect this is exactly the kind of app i want okay here we are there are a ton of settings in here but because this is a locked down chip a lot of this stuff while appearing to be adjustable a lot of times has very little effect on this chip. Should you have an overclockable CPU, such as a K desktop chip, or an HK laptop overclockable chip, you may find that a lot of this stuff in here will provide you with some more utility and adjustability. But let's keep things simple. BD Pro Shot by default will likely have a check mark on it. Let's go ahead and untick that box. Now, a lot of times doing so will be just enough to alleviate a great deal of throttling depending on your laptop your cpu configuration that is one of the downsides when covering one piece of software is that there's a thousand laptops out there and half of them this is going to work for the other half are going to be a little flaky so let's go ahead and untick that box and now we'll go over to speed shift epp the energy performance plan now if you have a skylake or newer cpu definitely tick this box now you see this number 128 it's grayed out once we check that box we will have the ability to change this number anywhere between 0 and 255 at 255 you are going to have the the least amount of power draw from your cpu meaning when we are at full load you're going to get frequency throttling setting this to zero means we're going to try to feed this chip the most power we possibly can that's what we want after that let's click on fivr that stands for fully integrated voltage regulator now as you can see here our six active cores two of them would boost to 4.1 four of them would boost to 4.0 and six of them would boost to 3.9 in a perfect world but it's not working that way. That is why you're here. So let's see if we can make a dent and make our CPU run better than it already does. For starters, let's go to the CPU cache. We are gonna adjust the CPU cache and the CPU core, but the CPU cache is the most sensitive and it will be the one mostly responsible for your machine locking up. So let's go ahead and select that. Tick this box to unlock the adjustability of it and go to the off set voltage. Now we're gonna have three different settings here. One, two, five millivolts, two, five, zero, and 1000. We have no business being here or here on cash. Never here, rarely here. This is where we wanna live. Let's max that out. Let's go down here to okay, save voltage immediately. Boom, now we'll open that up. And here we are at negative 0.128 volts, the LLC ring offset, also known as cash. Now, I know we set this to 125, and it's showing 128. This is very normal. Mine has done this. Yours will, too. CPU core. All right, let's go ahead and unlock this again. Now, one of my favorite things about throttle stop is that we can undervolt the cash and the core voltages separately, which is really awesome. My particular CPU did find the best results by doing the exact same cache undervolt. So for the core, I went with negative 125 and then clicked apply. When we open this up, same thing took up here to the IA offset and of course LLC ring offset that we covered in the cache voltage. All right, now here's where things get a little bit interesting. You can actually undervolt your core voltage all the way to here. On my solution, that was no problem. Now, it's stuck, 
That doesn't mean it took, okay? But I can assure you, in all of my software and testing, I had no problem running this. But, but there is a caveat. Check this out, right? When you do this, you may think, dear Lord, did I just get the most amazing undervolt ever? Look at my temperatures. They're amazing. No. <laughs> No, no, no. What you've done is everything you said you did, but you're missing one thing. You have actually limited the boost frequency because you're not giving your CPU enough juice. And so now, in my case, in this G7 Dell 7588 chassis, we're going to run at around 3.1 gigahertz by doing this. Now, this could be a solution for you to curb temperatures by dropping your core voltage down low enough. It won't blue screen on you at this point. It's just not going to boost to its maximum potential. If that's a solution for you, then right on. The reason why I posted this on here, though, is because some of you are going to push this lower and lower and lower, matching what I have done or perhaps beating it coming onto the channel and stating, oh my gosh, I just undervolted 0 0.400, my temperatures are great, you should do the same, next thing you know, everybody's doing that, and then down the road you figure out you really weren't getting the performance that you thought you were, all right? So, it's very interesting, but it's something you can do, should you wish. However, when you set it to negative 125, it seems to be a pretty good sweet spot for my particular chassis where it's getting just enough voltage to run at the 3.96 core active boost most of the time and still keeping temperatures far enough away from thermal throttling it is the sweet spot for my chip and i think that's where you guys are going to spend a lot of your time now don't be fooled by certain pieces of software that state that you're running at 3.9 your system might not be at maximum load. But what's even more important than that is right down here in the bottom right hand corner of your user interface, this. When you click on your battery tab and you have best battery life to the left and best performance on the right, okay, it would seem like a no brainer that we would wanna click on this because we want the best performance when plugged in. Never use this. We do not need to be over here. All this is going to do is take all these cores and run them at a 3.9 gigahertz all the time. Now, they're not under load, but they are at that frequency. This here is not going to help your case out whatsoever. It's only going to mask performance. You think you're getting 3.9, but you're not. Think of it like this. Taking your car at its maximum speed and then putting it in neutral. Okay, your car may be doing 120 miles an hour, but it's not under load. That's what's happening here. There's no reason to have your CPU in 2018 to be running at maximum speed. These things up clock and down clock so darn fast, and the fact that we just enabled speed shift and set it to zero means we are going to get the best possible in the least amount of time, rather, in milliseconds for that up clock or down clock to happen. Very important here, and setting this to best performance is only going to mask all of your hard work. Let me give you an example verbally here. If you set this to best performance, everything you do in play, it's gonna say 3.9 gigahertz, and you're gonna think, oh my God, I just solved the problem. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't solve anything, man. It says 3.9, but you're not really at that frequency. It's just sort of idling there, more or less, okay? So leave it right in the middle, and then make your adjustments so you can see where you stand. Hopefully I'm clear on that. All right, once you have done that, you're happy with your results, you've tested to your heart's content, now here comes the quality of life. Let's get Throttle Stop to run, not only when you reboot your machine, but from a cold boot and also do it minimized. So every time I fire up the machine, I don't want this popping up in my face. I want it to be right down here. So first, let's go to the options menu and go start on minimized. And I'm just going to say minimize on close as well. So when I hit this, boom, it goes down here. All right. Now let's schedule a task. We'll go over to the task scheduler. 
And what we want to do is create a basic task. And we're going to call that throttle stop. Now we want this task to start every time you log on to your machine. And it is a program, so let's get it to start one. And we want to find it, which happens to be right here. That's just lucky. All right, now open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish. Very important here. Yes, do that. Click finish. All right. Now you want this to run with the highest privileges. Absolutely. And you want it configured for more than likely Windows 10, but you're not done yet. Let's go over to conditions. Now, in my case, I want this to run when it's plugged in. But for power saving purposes, I also want this to run when it's unplugged. So in this order, untick this box here that says stop if the computer switches to battery power. I don't want this app to stop when it switches to battery power. And then over here, it says start the task only if the computer is on AC power. Well, no, I don't want that to happen at all. And then click OK. And now we are done. Every time you reboot or cold boot this machine, this app will automatically start right here. It will start minimized for you. Quality of life, my friends. Quality of life. It's a very, very nice thing. But what you need to do, more importantly, is spend most of your time right here at the core offset. Keep tweaking this. Some of you are going to get a better result than me. A lot of the reason being is because we are probably running different pieces of software to stress test this. Okay, so please bear that in mind. If you have any questions or comments on that or anything down below, please feel free to ask and I will help you. But more importantly, have fun with this. Be patient. Take your time. This will be worth your time and effort. I can promise you and guarantee you that. Whew. All right, that's going to do it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm Bob of All Trades. Peace out.